Hello guys, this is NJ from learn.nimagine and in this tutorial we will rig our gorilla model which we have modeled in our previous tutorials and in this last tutorial we corrected its texture. So you must be wondering why I, I haven't uh, yet uh, duplicated this arm to the the left side it is because after doing the rigging i will uh, duplicate it to towards the left towards the left side so before doing that what i will do is to uh, go into my viewport shading and uh, for color i'll change this back to my materials i'll change it to wireframe and uh, I'll add armature. I'll drag it towards the bottom. And uh, in viewport display of my bone, after going in edit mode, object properties, I'll change this to in front. So the bone is always in front of our model. So we will drag this bone upper part to here and then we will duplicate this, extrude it actually to cover the head. Now we will go into right side and uh, we will match the bone with our gorilla shape. There you go. It's perfect. Now what we will do is to first select our gorilla then our bone press p on your keyboard in with automatic weights now to control the bones you have to go into the pose mode which you can go by selecting this or just pressing three on your keyboard and you will go back to the pose mode now if i try my rake I'll select my bone and press rotate and you will see how cool is that. I'll go into the texture mode. I'll change this back to, I'll turn this off, the, the extra mode and now I'll check it to see if it's working all right. Oh yes. That's awesome. Even we can go into the pose mode and rotate our head. To and how cool is that? This is amount of uh, rotation a gorilla can do because of its stiff uh, neck. So our rotation is perfect and yeah, that's awesome. So we have rigged our gorilla body now it's time to save our scene and uh, let's call it gorilla rigging now what i will do is to add another armature we can uh, attach uh, this uh, arm and hand with the body and rig it with one armature but uh, I think uh, for for this use case we will do it separately because it gives us more freedom and this is what we want so first I will join this arm and hand next I'll apply all transforms I have told you earlier why you need to do it and uh, snap cursor to world origin now add and armature go into extra mode and into object mode i'll go into bone properties and in front select the top portion of the bone and drag it to right here And then again, selecting this, I'll extrude it to
right here and then again extrude it to the cover my hand I'll go into right side and uh, like always adjust this we can adjust this as well and at the last we will adjust our hand joint now it has been done we'll use the same procedure we will select our subject then bone then p with automatic weights and then we'll go first i think we can name it arm and hand and let's just call it gorilla now if we go into our pose mode by pressing three on our keyboard if you check it now you would see the wonders oh my god look at that you can do various moves with your cool gorilla how cool is that so we will control z to go back into my previous mode now it's time to duplicate my arm to the right side so i'll turn on my texture mode and i'll go into front view object set a region to 3d cursor because we want to duplicate from here let me show you if we don't do it what happens if i if i select both my you have to select both your bone uh, armature and your object and duplicate now if i duplicate it towards the right side let me just redo it okay so i'll duplicate this and if i duplicate it to the right side it will duplicate it right on the region so what we will do is to object set origin to 3d cursor now only by pressing the armature we will do minus one for the scale and it would be duplicated how cool is that so what we will do to I'll transforms and uh, we can do to all location all transform to deltas because it would uh, save us from this minus as uh, sometimes this uh, negative sign do a problem so it's be best to change all negatives to delta now if we check our pose mode by selecting both of these bones I'll go into pose mode and if we now test our rig how cool is that and now it's time to join this all rig into one we will select all armatures and then go into pose mode then by pressing this bone then this bone i'll uh, press p in bone and then again press p and then let me show you if i don't uh if i don't uh if i don't join it what would happen so if i go into pause mode and I press this this would be separate so we will go into selecting all armatures I'll go into pose mode selecting this and this P bone this and this P bone now if I select this armature and go now this is acting as one rig how cool is that so this is it guys this is the rigging of your gorilla 
your gorilla model is complete and you can now do wonders with it in the next uh, in the last it won't be last there would be another tutorial so in the next tutorial i'll teach you how you can animate uh, this gorilla into into an animation it would be a simple animation but uh, let's do that that in the next scenes so stay tuned and thanks for watching this tutorial subscribe and keep watching in learn.nimagine